These are 14 great Minecraft mods that have just been updated to 1.21. Let's check them out. Amplified Nether increases the height of the Nether to 256 blocks. This allows multiple biomes to be stacked on top of each other in pretty unique ways. It's a surprisingly noticeable improvement and can be enhanced further with biome mods for the Nether and a good shader that gets rid of the fog. This mod makes a small percentage of hostile mobs more powerful, essentially making them into mini bosses. They can inflict you with negative effects like withering or have special effects of their own like increased speed. These mobs come in three tiers, some being significantly more dangerous than their vanilla counterparts. If you manage to defeat one, they drop four times the experience. This mod makes the mace 3D. In third person, it's quite a bit bigger and more imposing. Explorer's Compass allows you to locate structures without cheats. It is made with cracked stone bricks and cobweb, and when right-clicked, brings up a menu of all possible structures you can locate. It also supports modded structures. Hearths is a vanilla-friendly nether enhancement mod. It adds staglomites to the ceiling and floor of the nether, and makes some minor changes to both nether forests. It also spawns in cool-looking towers with good loot. Ingot Craft is a vanilla-friendly mod that adds some new armor and tools into the game, crafted from different ores like copper and steel. You can also craft an invisible set of armor that has the same stats as diamond, but is invisible. If you have Security Craft, another mod, installed, the recipe for the armor is made from reinforced glass. This mod adds a few medieval structures with good loot and hostile mobs. Some are quite simple, while others are larger, like this fortress. Everything is beautifully detailed, and the mod would fit in well in any medieval or fantasy-themed mod pack. This mod adds a whole host of new weapons. They are all vanilla-friendly, but have certain specialized effects. Some are beneficial, like the mace having a chance to critical hit enemies without jumping, while others are hindering, like how some weapons need two hands to use. These different effects balance out the mod quite well, in my opinion, and make it a nice vanilla plus addition to Minecraft. This mod makes creepers significantly scarier. Creepers will not explode randomly anymore, and will only detonate when they have made line of sight, and gave you a long, cold look in the eye. Makes cave mining that much scarier. Waystones is a great mod for transportation. They spawn in villages, or sometimes randomly throughout your world, and can be used to teleport to other waystones. One level of experience is depleted per teleportation, and they can also be crafted. This mod adds the Crab Claw, which we would have gotten if the Crab won the mob vote. This mod doesn't add the Crab itself, but the Claw has the same functionality that was initially teased. You can place and break blocks further away. Crab Claws can be found in buried treasure chests. With this mod installed, you will need to be careful around flowers at night. There's a chance that one of them is a mimic, some type of hostile mob in disguise, ready to get you when you get too close. Flowers are still safe during the day, of course. Grindstone Sharper Tools is a mod that allows you to temporarily make tools sharper and deal more damage. To sharpen a tool, simply right-click it on a grindstone. Tough as Nails has been around for a while, but just recently it has been completely overhauled and improved. The mod adds a temperature and thirst system, making the game more challenging. There are new items, devices, and even armor you can craft to help deal with this new challenge. Leaf garments cool you down, wool clothes heat you up, juices can quench your thirst, and there are multiple tiers of flasks to hold lots of water to fend off dehydration. There's also a cool device called the thermoregulator that can cool you off or heat you up depending on what you power it with. A great improvement over previous iterations of the mod, and a good mod to play with overall. These are just a few of the many mods that are available for Minecraft, so if you want to check out some more, there's a video you can watch right here.